हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज बेसिकली लेक्चर नंबर फोर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टिल लेक्चर नंबर थ्री वेर वी हैव सीन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द बिजनेस अबाउट अ स्मॉल डिस्क्रिप्शन रिगार्डिंग द बिजनेस प्रोफेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट इकोनॉमिक नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज एंड ऑल सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज so what are the characteristics of business activities what are the features what are the essential elements that are required to be present in the activity to be a business activity so we will learn about it now the first characteristics as we were seeing on the screen is an economic activity so here it is being said that business is an economic activity it should be an economic activity rather just take one example economic activity what does it mean right so suppose a person is there jack what he used to do he simply is in the business he just doing a business he has a grocery shop on every month for his self satisfaction only for his self satisfaction only what he used to do on every month he used to distribute 20 kg of rice dal wheat maize each 20 kg each to different villages to the poor people and in return he don't used to take any kinds of money or benefits from them nothing just you can say it it's a one sided transfer for transfer from him to the poor people so what does it mean he is giving transferring something that is a valuable thing that can be measured in terms of money but in return as a consideration consideration means something in return but as a return he is not receiving anything and he does not want anything so he why he is doing this because to satisfy himself only because he he love to do this this is one example suppose the same jack what he is doing he is having the business grocery shop customers are coming a b c d e and what he is doing he is selling 5 kg of rice to a 2 kg of wheat to b 7 kg of maize so likewise he is selling and in return of this he is transferring but in, in return they are giving him money okay they are giving him money suppose 90 per kg okay 40 per kg like this he is taking money from them so when he is doing the same thing he is transferring the goods from one place to another one person to another but one case he is not receiving the money not receiving anything and in another case same way he is receiving the money so the economic activities those are those activity which is done in terms of money that can be quantified in terms of money better to say that that can be quantified in terms of money are economic activity 
so what is non economic activity students so non economic activities will be this one the first example where he is doing this for charitable purpose or for self satisfaction right or for self satisfaction nothing else so economic activity the first point we have cleared next let's see what is this production and procurement of goods and services production and procurement of goods and services so business involves business involves second characteristics production and procurement of goods and services so what is this as because it is clear to you at first i have said that where the people are engaged with the activity related to purchase production and sales of goods and services already this was the definition so if you break that it is very much clear that the business activity should be related with the production of some goods okay production and procurement of goods as well as services so second point is clear now sale and exchange of goods and services so third point is sale and exchange of goods and services what does it means sale it is very much clear to us that what is the meaning of sale when you were selling the goods but what is the meaning of exchange you know the barter system when you were younger in age you have learned at your childhood the barter system that means someone x and y two person are there one is providing 1 kg of potato to y and in return 2 kg of wheat to x y is providing 2 kg of wheat to x so something like exchange is happening for example at your class you just think that you two people are there two friends are there a and b someone is providing blue pen and in respect of that b is providing you the black pen so the exchange is happening you were not providing the money for the pen but you were exchanging your another commodity for the friend for the pen another goods for the pen so that is the thing when you were exchanging something that also comes under the business activity it is not necessarily like that only the goods and services will amount to business or only the sale amount to business so we have got production purchase sale exchange four points can be there in a business is that clear now dealing in goods and services on regular basis it is a very important point student because suppose in olx nowadays it is very much famous where you can able to sell your mobile your furniture any of the goods and goods to the customers who want to buy that second hand third hand buy so there you were not providing or selling the goods on a regular basis this is not your day to day business for some in a month say two times or during two months one time you were doing that so can you say that you were doing the business not at all because the business should be done on regular interval it should be done on regular basis on a daily basis it is a daily basis activity when you were dealing with the goods and services on daily basis on regular basis this will amount to the business okay next profit earning as i have cleared this point about the profit earning 
what is called profit i have already cleared so suppose you were selling clothes you have clothes business so you are selling the garments okay to another person on a regular basis all the characteristics you have fulfilled now you are purchasing the garment from another shop with 100 rupees and you were selling it on 100 rupees on regular basis students is it possible to continue the business for a long time as because there are different employees in your organization okay in your shop different employees are there who are showing the product on behalf of you who are selling who are promoting the product so what amount you will provide them what salaries rather i will say you will provide to them if you were purchasing the goods in 100 and selling the goods in 100 it is not possible at least you have to sell the goods at 101 one rupees at least should be there to extra that is termed as the profit extra amount you have to receive from the customer so if the profit earning is not there students it is not a business so profit earning is the main characteristics you can say in business another point if you see uncertainty of returns what is uncertainty of return you have invested suppose you just want to open a restaurant now you want to open a restaurant and you have funds suppose you have invested 5 lakhs to open the restaurant you have collected the money some from your family members from your dad you have taken certain amount of loans also from bank so that you can invest this 5 lakhs in the restaurant so can you tell after one month you can able to earn a profit of 20,000 rupees or 30,000 rupees or 3 lakh? Can you confirm it that after a year you can able to get a return of that is in terms of profit 5 lakh, 6 lakh? This 5 lakh that you have invested students, can you tell that this 5 lakhs will come to you once more? through customers customers will love your product can you give any guarantee any confirmation no you cannot give maybe this 5 lakh will never come to you and maybe you can earn 10 lakhs also in one year in one year extra 5 lakh can come to you so that is uncertain you know don't know that what is going to happen when it is going to happen when you don't know then it is known as uncertainty do you know when the earthquake will happen you don't know about it do you, you don't know when tsunami will happen so when you cannot estimate that what can be happened in future it is known as uncertainty so your return that is something in return that is called consideration is uncertain in nature you don't know when you will get return element of risk so here the point is being concerned with this only when you were investing 5 lakhs who knows that you will just get back it within some couple of years who knows about it so always a risk should be present there in business maybe you will never get back maybe you can get more so it depends upon many things you don't know at present situation you are sitting here and you don't know what is going to happen after five years even after one year so risk is present that's why it is being told here that element of risk the risk is present in the business so i will continue with lecture number five and next lecture will be lecture number five this is lecture number four after the completion of lecture number four only go with the lecture number 5. Thank you.